Hello all. Welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial series, we will be exploring how to develop a to-do app using clean architecture and a VVM design pattern in SwiftUI. If you'd like to access the source code for this project, be sure to subscribe to the channel, take a screenshot and send it to the email provided in the description. We will send you the source code. In last video, I have explained the concept of clean architecture and a VVM design pattern and also created the required folders. In this video, let's create the scripts we need. First, let's move the app script to application folder. And then, move the models to entities folder. They are task and view model script. Content view will be our main view and rest views are the subviews. So let's move them into subviews folder. Move Date Extinction into Extinctions folder. Perfect. Let's rename the content view to Task Home Page. Please change it in all the places. Awesome. Now let's start creating the scripts. First, we need data providers. In this app, we have two providers. One is Date Data Provider and another one is task data provider. We will be using protocols in clean architecture. Create date data provider protocol. We have one public function in this. That is calculate past and future weeks. This function takes the date as parameter and returns the week model. Add the date data provider class. and inherit the protocol with the extinction class. Add the protocol functions. Now, move the calculate weeks function to this. And also the private view function. Perfect. That's all we need for the date data provider. Let's move to the task data provider. First, create the protocol. The way we did it in data provider. These are the functions we need for the provider to handle. Now, create the class and inherit the protocol using an extension. Let's add the function ID. We need a task list variable to hold the task list. For now, create an empty init. A private function to get the task list from the user defaults. Now, go to the list manager. Copy get task list function and paste it in the provider. Remove this and return the JSON. Create one more function and name it as save updated task list. This is going to be our refresh task list function in the task list manager. Rename this to task list. Perfect. Let's add the protocol functions. First is get task list. This is going to return the task list variable. Next is the update task list. Copy this and paste it in the protocol function. Call save updated task list and return the list. Next is toggle task completion. And then delete task. Perfect. At last, we have task of currently selected date. Now, initialize the task list in the init. Perfect, we have had all the required functionalities in the task data provider. Let's use these providers to develop the other layers. And we are done for this video. In the next video, let's develop the repositories. Until then, take care. Thank you for watching.